to Rocking Abraham. I'm going to be showing you a lot of information today. We're going to be discussing 2010 data from the U.S. Census Department. We're going to be going over the age range of 15 to 44 year old females and their children. And this is the fertile range, okay, in which you can raise children. The females have approximately 62 million in 2010. And then the males have about 63 million in 2010. So right off the bat, you'll notice this is, there's about 1 million more men than females. So there's, there's no lack of men out there, okay? A so female with children, okay, that are married. The females with children that are married, okay, 21 million, okay? The females that are married that have no children yet, 4.5 million, okay? Now, this is other numbers here, like the females with uh, children, okay, is 13.1%, 13.9%, and 13.5% of the females that have children. So, of the females that have children, only 57.4% of them have that. So, about 40.5% of the 57.4% females, okay, have children, okay, and this 40.5% represents families that are not married, okay, this one represents how many females of this number here have children, okay, so over here I got some math, we got the 21 million that are married females, okay, and then here we have the married females, okay, without children. We're going to add that up, and we get this number here, and this number is 25.6 million, okay. We're going to figure out what percentage of the population is actually married during this time period, and we come up with the number 41%. Only 41% of the population of the females is married, okay, at this time period. This is very low, okay, for being very fertile range. This is this is the most fertile range of a female, okay, but yet they're not even past 50%. Okay, this, this should be something like in the 80s or 90%, because if you want to have children, you need to be in this range and you need to be you need to be getting married and having children if you want a family. So we're seeing the destruction of family life right here, okay, because women have chosen not to get married and not to have children, so this right here, 41% have chosen than a nuclear family, okay. Now, of this, of this, okay, we're going to figure out how many actually have children, okay, so we're going to take that 21, 21 million of the females, okay, that are married with children, and we're going to divide it into the total population of the female, okay, we're going to plug that in together, we're going to get 33.8%, okay, one in three women have chosen to get married, and they have chosen to have a child with a husband, that's it, only one in three. You can point to these numbers. You can say, well, it's not our fault. Only one in three women have chosen to get married and have kids. That's not our fault. That's women's fault. And then on, this, on the other side, only 41% of them decide to get married at all. Okay? And we don't know. We don't know if of the, of the 4.5 million are going to decide to have kids or not. We, we don't know that. So... You can only claim this. Only 33% of them are only 30. We don't know how many of those 4.5 million are going to have children. Okay, we can only say that we know what we know. That one in three women are only choosing to be a traditional in a traditional family. That's it. That's it. Only one in three. That's low. That's really low.